begin uh, an important season today. And this is very important for us because this uh, is another opportunity, another boost that God gives us to stay awake, to stay focused on what matters most. You know, we're given moments of grace, moments of preparation for something great. You have Advent and, and also you have Lent. But Advent is also so important. You know, you can end up Christmas Day and be the same you are today, just a little bit more stressed and just a little bit more broke with all the gifts that you've had to do, to, to, to buy. Now, it would be a pity. It would be a real pity if you ended up at the end of Advent towards Christmas not holier, not more like Jesus. This is a great opportunity for us to stay awake, to live in the moment of grace that God is giving us over the next few weeks. Now, I just want to be practical here. Things we can do this Advent to love Jesus more. Christmas is a great time where families gather together, where there's joy and presents, where there's a lot of good and, and joyful stuff. But Christmas is not about family. Christmas is not about good tithings. G Christmas is not about gifts. It's not about joy even. <laughs> what is Christmas about? Christmas is about Jesus. But if you really want this Christmas to be about Jesus, then you have to prepare yourself. You need to plan. You know, failing to plan is planning to fail. You've heard that before. We need to plan so that when Christmas comes, we will really live in that saying, that cliche saying that Jesus is the reason for the season. This is what this season is about. It's about Jesus. And what can we do not to get distracted by the things that the world is going to throw at us over the next few weeks? And it is. It's going to try and distract you. The good things in this, in this world are going to distract you from what is best. And I'm not saying that the devil is in all of this, but the devil can certainly use the good things of this world to take you away from that which is best. And that is Jesus. So I'm gonna give you three things that you can do as a family to make sure that Jesus is truly the reason for the season for you. Number one, talk to your family about Jesus. Open your Bible. You see, through, throughout the, this next, um, next um, liturgical year, the scriptures we're going to read through is the book of Mark. Open the, the Gospel of Mark and read the story of Jesus. Talk to your kids about what this season is about. Talk to them about Christmas, that it is Jesus, the story of Jesus. Start the conversation about how things happened. And you don't need all the answers. But you need the conversation. Have the conversation with your family about this and things that you can do and pray together as a family. Read a little bit of scripture, even once a week together. Pray, make an extra effort to pray before meals. Make this season an opportunity to draw closer and to point to Jesus. Four weeks. Now, here's the second thing. Decorations. Decorations are so important. Why? Because they remind us about the reason for the season. The Christmas wreath, this round, beautiful symbol of life, green life. Put some candles as well for the four weeks of Advent, explaining the, the weeks that we celebrate as a church, drawing closer to Jesus. The Christmas tree. Do you know what the Christmas tree represents? The Christmas tree, Jesus is the tree of life. He came to give us life, he bears fruit. And so the Christmas tree in our house is a symbol of Jesus, the tree of life. And why are the gifts under the tree? Not because we deserve gifts, but because Jesus gives us gifts. He has given us the gifts of joy and peace and love. He's given us so many gifts of each other. 
So the symbol of the gifts under the Christmas tree are also a reminder of the gifts that God gives us. The decorations you put on the tree, let them point to Jesus, not to the reindeers and to Santa only, but to Jesus. Put things, fruit on the tree that remind us of our spiritual life and our spiritual walk with Jesus. And at the top of the tree, a star or an angel, because Jesus is the King of Kings, the Star of David, the, the line of kingship. So that's why we put the Star of David on top or the angels singing, holy, holy, holy. Another great symbol is the crib. You know, set out a crib, and I have a little crib here. You know, just talk, talk to your kids about the characters, about, about jo this is Joseph. Talk to uh, your kids about, about Jesus. Talk to your kids about, about the, the three kings. You know, it's interesting, the three gifts that they bring to us. Gold, which is our wealth, our well-being. Myrrh, which is our health. It was a medicine. It was used, and so we pray for health, and we surrender our health, and it is the gift of our health in body, mind, and soul we give to God. And incense, our worship. Here's a trivia, interesting fact. You know, the Bible never mentions the three wise men. It mentions wise men but never mentions three, mentions three gifts, but that's how we have the three wise men. But you see, this is the thing that we're called again, point, these symbols point to Jesus and who Jesus is and what God gives us. The third thing, <laughs> don't forget the poor, the broken. Now, there are a lot of people who rejoice in Christmas and it is a beautiful time but there are a lot of people who are struggling at Christmas time because it is the time they're reminded of people who died over the year over the last few years and they, they, they don't have the joy of Christmas anymore because their beloved is not there anymore reach out to people like this if you know someone who has passed away over the last year contact their family because I can guarantee you that they need your prayer, that they need your support right now. Also, those who don't have family to give them gifts, over the next few weeks of Advent, put some money aside to buy a gift, not only for your kids and your kids, not only for each other, but everyone put some money aside to buy a gift for someone in need. Give not only where we see the joy and rejoicing of people, but also give when we don't get recognition, when we don't get anything back. Look out for those who are poor and broken. And this will increase our true Christmas joy. This is what Advent is about. It's about being prepared, be ready, staying awake. And those three things are things that we can have in our home, in our household, to keep us awake and focused on Jesus, the reason for the season.